drawings were transferred to clear cells and painted. By the end of the film, there were tens of thousands of hand-drawn cells that required hundreds of gallons of paint. The cells are then placed in order and photographed one frame at a time. At this point, the animation begins to come to life. Now if you had prepared 20 years ago, you This is where most live action and animation films have stopped. But Roger Rabbit went a step further. The animation was sent to Industrial Light and Magic for a series of state-of-the-art special effects shots that add shadows and highlights, giving the characters a three-dimensional look. First, there's the plain animation. Then the live-action background is added. And then Jessica's dress is given a little sparkle. She's married to Roger Rabbit. And finally, shadows and highlights are added. Roger Rabbit presented Industrial Light and Magic with an unprecedented number of effects shots. We're about to hit 500 finals or completed effects shots for this show. That equals the effects shots that I was involved in. You could combine Cocoon, Back to the Future, Star Trek's 1, 2, 3, and probably Empire Strikes Back. All together, that equals about 500 effect shots, and that's only halfway to the finish line for us on Roger. Even though the animation is a major part of Roger Rabbit, sound plays an equally substantial role. Sound effects not only add realism to the film, but can be used as a humorous effect as well. The film is viewed by sound effects specialists who recreate the sounds that match the action in the film. My buddy, there he be, a flower foot you'll be. But when I'm done, he'll leave the gun to the doka. He will be, be, be. added, the voices recorded, and the final scenes painted. The biggest hurdle was yet to come. All these elements were brought together just over the Hollywood Hills in a little place called Toontown, where Eddie Valiant faces his greatest challenge, confronting the tunes on their own turf. Even with the army of artists and technicians behind him, it came down to just one man. Eddie Valiant had to face the perils of Toontown on his own. And like those who had gone before him, there was no way to predict what was waiting for him behind the cartoon curtain. Smile, blind man, smile. You know there's a world in the great world after all. Smile, blind man, smile. Ever had your head stuck in a pinball machine? I guess that would be the the best description of what it's like to go into Toontown. Toontown comes from all of those old cartoons that you used to see where the buildings are singing and the cars are stretching and everything's happening in Toontown. That's crazy. <laughs> People don't actually like to go there because it's dangerous. Your floor, sir. Have a good day, sir. If it's going to be dangerous, it's really dangerous. So in other words, if you're going to fall off of a building, the building's not going to just be 10 stories high. It's going to be 27 million miles high. Jumping without a parachute? Kind of dangerous, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. With characters like these, Eddie Valiant was lucky to make it out of Toontown alive. Here's the spare. Thank you. Ah, oh, no! Ah! My man! The combination...
combination of humans and tunes, whether in the real world or in their world, was at best an uneasy alliance. But it is also one that provides us with the universal gift of laughter. Tunes gets them every time. Roger Rabbit and the Secrets of Toontown will continue. Do you mean to tell me that you could have taken your hand out of that cuff at any time? No, not at any time. Only when it was funny. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, where's your sense of humor? With a healthy dose of humor, Roger Rabbit has brought cartoons back to the silver screen. And in the tradition of the past, the filmmakers have created an enduring family of characters. Don't tell me you lost your sense of humor already. Does this answer your question? Cartoons allow us to see ourselves, both our strengths and our weaknesses. They allow us to laugh at those qualities that make us human. By bringing tunes into our world, the makers of Roger Rabbit not only pay tribute to the rich history of cartoons, but also brighten the future of animation. I wouldn't have missed this experience for anything, because it's, um, it's cinema history. It's never been done before. Why, nobody gets a drop on Roger Rabbit! And finally, Roger Rabbit brought back that magic time in our childhood when the idea of Toontown was as close as our own imagination. An idea of a fantasy world just around the corner through a tunnel or... I love it. I love it. I would love to think that they're outside of L.A. under, you know, behind all those freeways there really is this happy place. <laughs> This is Dan Rather. Made in America and sold in Japan. How some companies have found the real gold in the Japanese market. The story tomorrow on the CBS Evening News. Coming up, she paid the price to be the other woman. Victoria Principal, as you've never seen her before. Mistress, the CBS Tuesday movie, next. What are you doing here? Please, Eddie. I just came to see Jessica and to have a Diet Coke. Diet Coke. She's enough to drive a Toon Looney. <laughs> Diet Coke and Roger Rabbit at a theater near you. To learn more about the art of animation, the Library of Congress suggests these books. The American Animated Cartoon, edited by Danny Perry and Gerald Perry, and Disney Animation, The Illusion of Life by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. These and many other interesting books are waiting for you in your local library and bookstore. Visit them. They'll be happy to help you read more about it.